All right, guys. Next uh, strain we're going over is the lateral strain. So remember, the sphenoid and the occiput move on two vertical axes that rotate the occiput and sphenoid in the same direction. So it would look something like this. So the side that's higher, once again, is going to determine the side of this function. So this would be considered a left lateral strain. Whereas if the right side were higher, it would be considered a right lateral strain. Okay, how it would look from a side view, this. The opposite right lateral strain. All right, so if we try it with the shadow hands, left, so you notice this hand goes a little bit more over, and the right hand goes a little bit under. So almost if we see the dorsal portion of the left hand and you see the palmar side of the right hand for left lateral strain. Let's try it. This way. Good luck. Thank you, man.